objective of the Circular Economy Tour across Europe was to showcase good practice SMEs. We started in April 2021 with a kickoff event and then traveled to different regions and countries in Europe uh, showcasing circular economy SMEs from different sectors. We wanted to discuss not only obstacles but also potentials and chances across borders. Together with European partners, we screened a lot of companies and finally selected the ones that apply circular strategies already, complement each other and really show different various strategies. For each sector stop, we created a video with four to five companies, but also a community platform online where you can still become part of the network. The idea was to spark the flame across Europe and inspire other companies that have not yet started to become circular. Chemical industries and startups offer a wide range of opportunities and innovation in materials and processes in areas like waste prevention, plastic reuse and recycling, and alternative to common uh, plastic uses. We manufacture these foam cases made from fishing nets and scrap aluminium, taking back our foam cases to crush them and recycle them again. Everwave is today a social business with a holistic approach combining technology and the inspiration of people towards a sustainable future. Waste becomes a resource. Flanders is one of the most open economies in Europe. It is characterized by a strong economic and industrial tissue. Stakeholders in many sectors, including chemicals, construction and logistics, make alliances with each other along the value chain, but also with research centers, startups and within the different clusters. Circular economy models and solutions assist us in a transition to a sustainable economy and society. The Flemish Green Deal on Circular Building. It's a network of 360 companies and organizations in the building sector working and learning together to close the loop. Fasadeklik is an innovative product who is 100% circular. With this, we change the mortar and the glue in a dry connection and we do it this way, with the brick. We show it, it works like that very easily and the next brick on top of it. We want to show that it is possible to create one of the most sustainable buildings on a form industrial site that was declared a world heritage. When the building is deconstructed, the materials can be used again in different functions or contexts. country, the Netherlands, is situated in a fragile delta environment and we don't have any natural resources. But that environment made us collaborative, it made us pragmatic, learning by doing, and it made us innovative. And for textile that means we have lots of solutions based on bio-based materials, new business models, but also new recycling technologies. We see lots of opportunities to scale up a circular fashion industry. DICO decided not to focus on using less watering chemicals but we decided to focus on not using any watering chemicals at all. Our technology is based on supercritical CO2, which is used in a closed loop system and is fully recyclable. Our revolutionary concept is that we are converting the textile industry to circularity. We help our customers, which are retailers and brands, to develop and manufacture fully circular textile products. Our core innovation is the development of fully biodegradable textile synthetic fibers, which are cradle-to-cradle -cradle gold certified. The 
North Rhine-Westphalia we have a wide range of industries like wood, plastics, metals and others. And in terms of packaging we are also focusing on food industries as well as paper and plastics. We want to make reusables the standard for takeaway and delivery food. Consumers that download our app can borrow as many reusable containers as they like. Now what's special about Vital is that we work like a library system and without a deposit. In France, water shortage is an increasing issue in specific regions. And this phenomenon will be stressed due to climate change. At Polytech Trade Fair, we identify more and more good solutions for a circular economy and the reuse of water. For a long time, we have been managing uh, water in a linear way. Now, there is an opportunity to implement circular use of water thanks to uh, systems like Nereu system, which are uh, available at any uh, size and can be implemented uh, uh, for uh, hundreds of thousands of PE uh, capacities. Then it is situated in the rural area, a densely populated and traditionally industrial region. Here solutions had to be found for waste and wastewater from among others, mining, steel and chemical industry. Intense research of academia and industry has led to environmental technology and circular economy innovation. We were able to develop a new water, let's say, recycling kit. So this enabled us to offer different applications in water reuse. Simple rainwater harvesting, but also advanced rainwater harvesting, so we can drink the water. Our idea is to close, let's say, this circular approach more and more. Sweden has great prospects when it comes to transition to a circular economy through both technological development and also innovation in our businesses. So it is very important that we ensure that batteries can be reused and recycled after their first application. We see that uh, there is a need for more collaboration across uh, the battery value chain and uh, that SMEs uh, take an important part actually in building and shaping future business ecosystems. So clean systems is building this B2B market platform that connects owners of waste batteries, dismantlers, workshops and insurance companies with anyone who can capture the remaining values. They can be reused in a second life and they can be recycled. We're enabling and accelerating the transition into a circular economy of batteries. Right now the production system for traction batteries is well on its way but we need the repairers, the ones that handle the data, uh, the ones that assess uh, battery quality, the ones that connect um, actors together, buyers, sellers of battery cells or batteries, the ones that maybe find uh, intuitive ways to reuse the battery cells. Instead of producing new batteries for our product, we just reuse old batteries from the EV market. We get them from recyclers or from UEMs, then we test them, refurbish them for the second life application, then we implement them into our product. Combining industrial change, a highly motivated society with strong businesses and circular thinking makes our region the perfect region for a circular economy driving innovation and sustainable economic growth in North Rhine-Westphalia and the Ruhr area. We built stainless steel machines now since 50 years and all these stainless steel machines are just made out of one material, it's stainless. So we can recycle it and reuse it. Our machines are made for easy maintenance to keep them alive 
for as long as possible. Our company is producing keg cleaning and filling machines. A keg is a returnable system in stainless steel. Normally we are working in beverage industry and the beer industry. Due to the pandemic situation, we found out that a lot of disinfectant is needed around the world. So in order to avoid plastic, we came to the idea to use a returnable stainless steel system for hand disinfection, for professional, high quality hand disinfection, to prevent tons and millions of tons of plastic going to the garbage bin. Our products are very energy efficient. They allow our customers to reduce their energy bill with 80% and by that reduce their carbon footprint. But we can do more for a fixed monthly fee with our circular light as a service, we take away the old and defective components and replace them with a new light module. Did you know that Flanders is for decades a frontrunner in recycling? If we add the recycling and reuse of construction and demolition waste, the recycling rate of industrial waste becomes as high as 79%. The challenge is to make higher value strategies the new norm, in addition to recycling. That means using less materials from the start, extending the lifespan and recycle residual flows. Out of use uh, is giving purpose to old appliances. We are going to collect uh, at the customer's place. We take with us and we recycle it. Uh, or uh, we reuse it. If we recycle it, we obtain a recycling quote of 89% that goes back to the secondary material. When we learned from our customers from hospitals all over the world that after replacement of an implant for a knee or a hip is thrown away after two minutes of use. That's to say hundreds of thousands of batteries of motors and electrical cable are thrown into the waste. We succeeded to create a product, the Blue Lavage system. So it's no longer a single use instrument. We have the drive unit, which can be used more than 150 times. We have to treat our food and our bioproduct in a very sustainable way and try to keep them in the loop as long as possible. Fortunately, there is a lot of very interesting, innovative solutions which find this niche and try to develop their business on bioproduct. At Red Bread, we upcycle leftover bread that the bakeries were unable to sell into healthy, delicious and sustainable products using fermentation technologies. At the moment, our portfolio contains several types of soft drinks, but also uh, koji fermented umami seasoning, barbecue sauce, and we also uh, bake new breads using the old one. We as FPI were and are engaged in many projects that focus on an efficient use of resources, aiming to lower energy, water or material usage. And our mission is to facilitate the application of innovative solutions in food industry to support sustainable development and competitiveness of the many small and medium-sized companies in our networks. Our goal is to cultivate gourmet mushrooms on urban waste materials right here in the city. We can use digitalization as well as modern day controlled agriculture techniques to provide a really controlled environment where the mushrooms can grow. Up here we have our gastro kitchen and it allows us to produce mushroom products as well as interact with the community. It was really interesting to see the different sectors uh, having different potentials, different chances, but also we yeah, had different challenges to, to solve, like legal barriers or as well, um, yeah, just a mindset question. 
think it was great to see that there's so much out there. And then finally also meet at the hotspot in Bottrop and meet the family, see what it means to carry on the vision of a circular economy.